Welcome to episode 17 of Eplectel Requiem, Composer's Walkthrough. This is Legacy of the Darun family, and we're in the mountain. Previously, we didn't have music uh, on the uh, credits to leave you some space to digest. And now, of course, what happens is the music comes back. And this music, for those who know, is the first music you hear in Plague Tale Innocence. So I was wondering when I've named the tracks, you know, because it's called Brother. And this one, I mean, it's a, it's a different version because this is, let's say, the extended themes of the games uh, here. Um, when I wrote this version, and called it brother, I was like, well, if people think about it, the first game, you know, it's called father and he dies. And this one's called brother. <laughs> well, I don't think anybody, you know, got that. Feels higher each time. <laughs> So uh, now, no more music. We have uh, Sophia coming back. I wouldn't miss this. And uh, we're going through the forest. Um, I'll skip to when you reach uh, the next beat of music. So now the music's back. And Amicia is all alone. And it's very nostalgic. <laughs> and what's interesting gameplay wise is like previously when you had to, you know, climb these sort of edges, you had to put Hugo first and now you just go. You know? So there is basically a different feel to your movements. You will look so flat compared to this. So this music is just um, epilogue music. And uh, when she's reaching this, there's this sort of motivation. Come on, you're guessing that. You know, for the whole team, it was um, about six years of work um, creating these characters, this story, these visuals, this gameplay, the level designs, everything. And basically, this is a goodbye. I'm coming in. You know? Sebastian, the writer, uh, told me that he was crying. No, writing. And now it's just the, the farewell, you know, the last sequence. So basically, hey. you know, no music, ambiences, and then... You know, this is the father. This is what the guitar does. But this is the, the choir here. here the same bits that at the beginning of Palace, you know, when they call the kids because the mom is around. So there are two sections here. You. You'd be good at making friends. So that's the first section. When she's trying, let's say, to, you know, I wasn't sure I was ready, but Sophia. Then she's here. gonna break. I mean, Charlotte is amazing. No more music, ambiences. I'm sorry. 
why is it so hard? I mean, without the technology, and remember, it's only 70 people, without, you know, this acting, the writing, we it wouldn't work. Down, right? And now when she's coming over... We held. And this is the last time you're going to hear the theme. This is over. May this earth remember how much you loved it. May it remember all you gave to protect it. So the first time you heard this theme was on Plague Tale Innocence on the main menu. And it was cello and viol de gambe. And we're closing this arc with the choir playing the same theme. So that's this one. And when you reach the credits, the idea was like, we cannot be like, oh, that's the end credits. It was impossible because the feeling would remain, you know, like, oh, and conclusion, and that's it, credits, whatever, you know, like they would do maybe for movies like a song or whatsoever. But here, it's quite the opposite. It's like, you feel it's a conclusion here, You think it's the end, but the end is now. So this is it for uh, a Plague Tale Requiem composer walkthrough. Man, this is a tough game. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Um, I must say that this is rare in a career to work on such a game where uh, everything collides into this sort of one vision, one direction, one storytelling. Uh, kudos to everybody at Asobo from, you know, Aurélien, the audio director, his guys. Damien, Max, to, you know, the creative director, David Dodden, the game director, uh, Kevin Choteau, the writer, Sebastian, and everybody else. I mean, the, the level designers, the, the game designers, animators, Julien for the, you know, the, the cutscenes. I mean, everybody, and Olivier Ponsonnet, and the art team, the art team. I mean... They did something I've never seen anywhere. You know, they deserve so much attention. And um, they were so generous, you know, into providing with so much details and so much, you know, once again, you know, it's never the same. I mean, really, I'm very happy to have been working on this game and I wish that, uh, you know, you guys had a good time. I thank you for following me if you did. Uh, thank you for liking those videos and uh, hopefully I'll see you on the next game whatever it will be enjoy and don't forget tell the ones you love that you love them <laughs>